<laughs> no fortune, though. Uh, no fortune. Well, busy, yeah. busy, busy all the time. We never stop practicing. Yeah, we, we, we go to about three. We have four practices a week. Most of us go to two or three. Um, we have about every two weeks or, uh, or a month. And so, yeah, we, have, we play derby a lot. And we all work during the day and then go to practice at night. It's, uh, it's a very exciting life. Uh, well, we prepare for a lot of work. Uh, this isn't something that, you know, you can say, oh, I'm going to join roller derby and then go make a sandwich. You know, there's four practices a week, two to three hours every practice. Uh, it, you know, it costs money to get your equipment and up, upkeep and maintain your equipment, and it takes dedication. Uh, you're going to get hurt, maybe not break a bone, but you're going to be sore, you're going to get bruises, you're going to get scrapes, you're going to pull muscles, uh, and you're going to get hit. If you don't like close contact, then this is not the sport for you. But what they can prepare themselves for is you get a great amount of confidence. Uh, I mean, it's a little intimidating. You get out on the rink, you see all the girls who are doing this just flying around the rink, and you're like, there's no way I can do that. But we have a training program in about three months. You can work your way up to do the things that we do. It's a huge self-confidence booster. Gives you self-esteem. And I mean, look at us. We're hot as hell. So, you know, that's what you have to look forward to. <laughs> well, generally I wake up, go to work, hate it. And then I go to derby practice and work my ass off and have a good time. Yeah, and I mean, the fact that it was all women, that was pretty appealing too since like, before that, like in college, I was in a band. Like, a, well, I guess we weren't all girls. We had a boy. We had a boy drummer, but um, like pretty. I was pretty big into like Riot Girl and queer punk and stuff. So like the fact it was all girl derby seemed to kind of be the same, kind of the same thing, like a sisterhood. It's really great. I've never played team sports before this, and I've never really been a part of a team. So this has really taught me what it is to be a part of a team. I guess people who don't know the sport don't really know that it is a team sport and we do have to work all together and communicate a lot. We're playing offense and defense at the same time. Uh, so there's a really a lot of coordination that goes on. We are referees for our tribal roller girls. Uh, do assorted positions throughout the bout. Yes, our job is to make sure the roller girls are playing fair. You know, giving some elbows, taking some elbows, but not a bit too much. You know, when, in the actual games, fans love the huge takeout hits that send the girls flying into the crowds. So, uh, you know, we try to play a smart game, but in the bounce, that's what the fans like the most. And, uh, you know, you, you, you got to take those hits when you can. The, those, are, those are the really fun hits that everyone remembers. The most exciting part is when girls are hitting the floor. Everybody loves it when people fall down and slide five or six or ten feet. And then they get up pissed off and they cuss out the other player and go back at it. Everybody loves the fighting. The worst thing I've ever done in a game, okay. I got ejected from a game for punching somebody on the other team in the nose. Well, it's not so much of an attack as I get intimidation. It's called the Donkey Kong. You guys want me to show it to you? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, it's like this. <laughs> Wanna see it from the back? Do you get it? Like Donkey Kong. Like the whole track. Nobody can get by me. Great. I think it's a great thing for St. Louis because you know St. Louis is not just about beer and baseball, you know, there's like other things going on in St. Louis and I think that this league being as successful as it is kind of shows that, you know, it's like a group of strong women who come together and do this, put this thing on, none of us get paid, nobody's getting paid, so it's good times.